life sometimes it is really difficult thinking what am I gonna eat when am I gonna eat what am I gonna make especially if you're a new vegan now a really amazing way to combat that is smoothies smoothies are an amazing way to get in some extra nutrients some vitamins whether you're wake up in the morning you're like oh I'm busy I gotta go to work and I don't know what to make or you come back from the gym and you're like I just need a bit more food I need to heal my muscles I need to land this tummy smoothies are gonna be there for you now I'm gonna show you five smoothies that I personally really enjoy at the moment each of the smoothies is a little bit different so I'm hoping that you like at least one of them. Let's get straight into showing smoothies. The first one I'm going to be making is a classic. It's like a classic breakfast smoothie. So I'm adding oats. Oats are really high in protein and fiber. It's a slow burning carb so it's slowly going to release energy throughout the day to keep you fuller for longer. I'm adding some almond milk, some bananas and then I go in with some hemp seeds. Hemp seeds are really rich in omega 3 and 6. It's a really good digestible protein and it adds a mild nutty flavor to the mix. And then I add some maple syrup because I've got a sweet tooth but if you can avoid it, avoid it. This one is probably the easiest to make and the simplest to make and one of my favorite go-tos. You know what it's gonna taste like. It tastes lovely, it tastes amazing, and it's good. You can adjust the thickness, you can add more almond milk if you like it runnier, you can add some ice if you like it cold. You can just play with it, you can add more superfoods. It's really easy, really simple, you can run out the door with it. So the next one I'm gonna be making is a green juice. This is one that I kept having in barley because I got obsessed with it. It does have spirulina in it. Spirulina is an amazing superfood to incorporate into your life. It does pack a bit of protein for you so it should keep you nice and full and treat your body. So first I'm going in with a large handful of spinach. Spinach has a lot of measurable nutrients to it. Then I add some chia seeds which are really high in omega-3 and protein and fiber and antioxidants, you name it. Then I go in with some coconut water, some frozen pineapple, some ice, some frozen mangoes, half a banana and I almost forgot the spirulina which is key here. Spirulina is incredibly nutritious, it's made up of protein, amino acids, it's naturally high in iron, it's got a super high calcium content and there's just a long list of why spirulina it's good for you. So for the people who are scared of green juices, this is a very green juice. However, the pineapples and the mangoes, they just loosen up the, I don't know if you call green juices bitter. I don't find them bitter, but it just adds a bit of a tropical fruity twist to it that's not too sweet and quite subtle. And the ice really helps. I might, I might just be a weirdo that enjoys green juices, but I actually really enjoy it. Refreshing, it's loose, it's healthy, it's got chia seeds in there which are giving you a nice amount of protein, you've got the spirulina, you've got the spinach, you've got a bit of tropicalness, you know? It's all good man, it's all good, I'm telling you. So this one I'm going to be making right here is a chocolate smoothie, yes. <sighs> Very similar to the breakfast one where it was just banana and oats. The chocolate one is quite similar except it is chocolatey. So first I'm going in with a banana, this is definitely optional, then I added some almond milk, then I went in with some oats again to get some slow burning carbs and some extra protein, chia seeds and flax seeds for my omegas and my fibre and my antioxidants, and then I went in with some raw cacao. Now this is what's going to give me that chocolatey flavour that I'm after. And then I added one date for a bit of sweetness. What I really like about this one is using raw cacao is actually good for you. It has a high level of antioxidants, it's got fiber, it's got fatty acids. It's not like picking up a Galaxy chocolate or Cadbury's chocolate bar. It's actually got some goodness for you. It gives you that chocolatey taste and you get to enjoy it in a smoothie. And you get that sweetness from the day. It's just, it's a nice way to enjoy chocolate without, in a guilty way if that makes sense. So yeah. So I'm making another green juice, but this one is not as green as the other one. So for the people who are scared of green juices, this one's a little bit lighter. And I especially like this one because it has ginger in. Ginger is amazing. Ginger is so good for the body. And if you can get it in your diet, get some ginger in there. So I'm adding a handful of kale. Kale has more vitamin C than an orange and more calcium than milk. Just throwing it out there, really nutritious. And then I'm also adding a large piece of ginger. And then I'm going in with some coconut water squeezing some lime in there, adding some hemp seeds for some omegas. Ginger is known to improve your digestive system, reduce nausea, fight colds and flus, and I just love ginger. This one right here, this is like, my, my favorite right now is this exact smoothie. 
I'm a sucker for uh you know what it tastes like? It tastes like those um what are those ice lollies that used to have like the green thing that went around it? Like was it called like a twister lolly? Something like that. Anyway, the mango, the lime, the ginger, the kale, the coconut water, the ice, it just comes together so beautifully. I genuinely just love this. It's almost like a cocktail. You can of course add protein powder, but to me that would ruin it. Also, I added hemp seeds to this, obviously, so there's some more nutritional benefits, but I just, this is, this is my favorite one right now. I try this one. I, I really, I'm, I love this one right now. All the other ones I've had so many times, and I haven't had this one that many times yet. So this one is just a love of mine. I'm just, I'm just over the moon. Yeah. I love kale, so if you don't love kale, maybe you won't like this. Swap it out for spinach, but I genuinely love kale. This is just, this is making me happy. I just, yeah. This one is a berry smoothie because we all love berries. Berries are so full of antioxidants that they are treating your body for real. So we've got to have a berry smoothie in there. And if we're looking at all the different colors we're making, we need a red one, we need a berry one. So let's make a berry smoothie. So here I am adding all my frozen berries, all my antioxidants, and then I'm going in with some chia seeds from some extra protein and fiber. Then I go in with some almond milk, and then I'm using maca to give me some energy and some flax seeds for some more omegas and then some oats for some slow burning carbs and I actually did forget to add a date because I like a bit of sweetness with my berries I couldn't handle them without it the berry one is definitely one I would add protein powder to and I'd also add a date to this thank you so much for watching this video I really hope you enjoyed it and it inspired you to making more smoothies so my top tips are adding ice to my smoothies because it keeps it nice and refreshing and more enjoyable in my opinion. Also add your superfoods, your hemp seeds, your chia seeds, your flax seeds, getting spirulina, getting maca powder, getting all those little bits into your smoothies just add an extra delicious benefit for your mind and your body and your soul just so that they look after you properly. Also if you need sweetness add a date, however we don't want to go too high on the sugar spectrum so if you can avoid it, avoid it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and it did help you and leave any comments you have down below. I would really love to know what kind of smoothies you guys make, what your favorite ones are so I can try them myself. And we can all kind of just share the recipes and just enjoy them together. And yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Bye.